Greetings people, it's Paul here at Green Share Homestead. Um, if you've seen my water catchment, rainwater catchment video, uh, you'll recognize this tank here. This is my thousand gallon tank and uh, I shot a video showing, I've got my two inch line coming out there and I shot a video showing how the gravity feed system where I'm gra just gravity feeding this tank down to the garden and then the two IBC tanks over to the left um, through a two inch line and then I've got a 40 foot garden hose on there. I shot a video showing how efficiently the water was coming out of that garden hose but I was having problems with the shutoff valve on that garden hose and then the the, uh, the nozzle uh, was also very very old and wasn't working very efficiently so I've gotten a new shutoff valve and a new nozzle and and I wanted to reshoot this video just to show you how efficiently that water is coming out of the the two inch line. This is the two inch line here it's got a shut off valve on it so when I'm not using it I shut that valve off uh, I'm about to go down and water the garden now so I thought I'd go ahead and shoot this video but that you can see that black uh, two inch line that runs along the wall here and then it hooks into the two IBC tanks over there those are both shut I use those more as auxiliary water just in case the thousand gallon tank runs dry and then I've got you know some 550 gallons over there but we've had enough consistent rain that the, the thousand gallon tank has been staying full and um, I've been watering the garden out of that. It takes about 200 gallons each time I water the garden. So uh, I'm going to go down and water the garden and show you how efficiently that water is coming out of the garden hose. I will show you here real quick before we go down to the garden. Uh, that's the black pipe there that you know I showed coming along the wall and then this is how it hooks into the uh, I IBC tanks. Uh, you can see the valves are both shut on the IBC tanks and then uh, this is the uh, black pipe that's the two inch line that goes down uh, through the chicken yard and to the garden so I'll go outside and show you how I've had that installed. Okay so that black two inch pipe comes out just underneath that uh, um, outlet there and then uh, it goes down through underneath the driveway and then you can see it there above the ground going through the chicken yard and then uh, it's actually still on top of the ground there it's just uh, the grass is growing up around it uh, I am going to bury the entire line but I I wanted to wait till I was sure everything was working well which it is now so uh, here in a, about a month or so uh, th this is uh, end of August so I'll uh, I'll bury it here in about a month or so but um, because it's black you know it gets hot in the sun but that grass growing up around it there that's kept it nice and cool so and then it goes all the way down to the uh, corner of the garden and we'll head down there and I'll show you how that works okay so here I've got uh, the two inch line uh, it's hooked into uh, I've got a um, I used to have this on there uh, that was I used that for an air release because air was getting trapped in the line <clears throat> Um, so I was able to use that to uh, release the air by untwisting that, that clean out, but the clean out cracked and uh, so I replaced it with a, another two inch uh, PVC line there uh, with the connectors on it. But um, since I got the new shutoff valve on the hose and the hose is staying full of water, I haven't had any back pressure from, from the air, so I don't need that, that clean out anymore. And then what I've, I've got, I've just got a reducer here off the two inch line I've got a reducer and then this is a three quarter inch uh, PVC line and then uh, uh, that's just a standard five eighths inch hose screwed onto that uh, uh, three three quarter inch PVC line so I'll go inside in uh, the garden here and show you how well that comes out of the garden hose just from the gravity feed there's no pressure on this at all whatsoever it's just purely gravity fed and there's 900 gallons in the tank right now okay so this green piece right here, that's my, uh, my shut off. I just, that opens it up and that shuts it off. So we open it up. Now water would come flowing out. Um, you see how well that comes out of the nozzle. I've got this on, uh, that's on the shower setting. It's just a, you know, $12, $12 uh, um, nozzle that I got at the farm store and it's got all the different adjusters on it you know for the way the water comes out but uh, you know the shower is the good one so uh, this is some fall lettuce I've got started 
and uh, you can see how well that comes out of the uh, there's no back pressure in there from the air anymore it's coming out real nice it's doing a great job uh, with this on the on the shower setting and then if I need to do see I shut this off sh turn the, the shut off valve on off and then I can unscrew this so if I need to water something more substantially um, I can uh, you know just open it up like this and then put my finger on there and uh, you can see that's extremely efficient that's a that's a lot of water coming out and it's coming out at a very good rate so we get a good soaking water on this garden simply from the uh, gravity fed thousand gallon tank no no uh, pump on there at all whatsoever this is purely gravity fed and you can see you know how absolutely efficient that's coming out so um, I think that's a pretty good view of what you can do just with a gravity fed tank and I'll go ahead and sign off now so this is Paul here at Greenshire if this uh, video helps you out at all or if you like it please give me a click on the like button and subscribe and we'll uh, see you next time at Greenshire Homestead thanks for watching